Welcome to episode 1110, Safra Katz, Queen of Acquisitions, 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 1110, lesson 1 to 5. This is lesson 6 to 10. Lesson 1 is the difference between a founder and a non-founder CEO. One of the few Fortune 500 companies run by our founder, Larry Ellison. And I will tell you, as a manager, that there's a big difference between founders and managers. The most important difference is the vision. Larry Allison is worth almost $107 billion, while Safra Katz is worth $1.4 billion. The difference is 67 folds. Lesson two, she's the acquisition queen. She spent 21 years in Oracle and made 130 acquisitions. Now she is CEO and has 140,000 employees worldwide. Then three, from lawyer to investment banker. The wild west of Wall Street. And so that's where I went. What they wanted me to do, which was leverage buyouts, and four, you have to be 10 times better, not 5% better. One in every market we're in, and there is absolutely no way to be number one by following another number one. You have to be completely differentiated. You can't be 5% better. You have to be 10 times better. And five, the keys to transformation. Transformation takes leadership from the top. It takes vision, commitment to drive change across an entire organization, and third, constant communication. Lesson six, make change fast. You see, at Oracle, we did everything 70 different ways. And so if you're going to do it only one way, that's 69 people who are out. And, and the other thing they say is, oh, change is risky. Let's slow it down. Doing it quickly is very, very risky. In fact, the reality is that doing it slowly can be fatal. Lesson seven, her luck factor. She discover a nascent software industry. I lived out of my car, pretty much, and I started working with all these new companies called PC software companies. There used to be, by the way, a PC software industry. I know now there's just Microsoft, but there was... As an aide, leaders don't see the box. That is much more than think outside the box. And someone once asked me, how is it to work with Larry Ellison since he always thinks out of the box. And what I tried to explain to them is that Larry doesn't even see the box. And that is what makes him a leader, not a follower. There's a nine, hire people who are smarter than you and who will disagree with you. Uh, let me tell you, every single one of my staff every single one of them, are better than me at what they do. Around yourself with people who are going to try to figure this out with you, not agree with you. If they agree with you, if that's all they do, what do you need them for? That their job is to find the flaws in my plan. Lesson 10, courage over consensus. Consensus does not always work in a crisis. Does not. You must have the courage. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.